Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures and today I am in Seoul and in today's How To Do Korea video I'm going to show you guys how to use the Seoul subway. So let's go. Alright guys, so today I'm at the Gangnam subway station line. As you go down into the subway, you'll see a lot of screens with advertisements, movies and things like that. Inside the subway, you'll find restaurants, all different kinds of little snacks. There's a lot of shopping for shoes, clothes, things for your camera, all different kinds of things you can find down below. Especially in Gangnam, they're known for their shopping down in their subway. This machine is where you're going to buy your tickets and your team money. You can choose different languages like English, Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. First, you're going to want to hit Destination Selection Single Journey Ticket. Once you've selected that, you're going to choose your destination by alphabetical order. Once you've completed that, you're going to hit Minimum Fare Only and choose how many tickets you want and you'll receive your ticket. In my case, I have T-Money and I want to reload it, so I'm going to hit the T-Money icon on the right and I'm going to put my card down below. This is where you're going to put your card to have it reloaded. Once you have it there, you're going to go up and you're going to choose how much money you want to put on your card. You can choose 20,000, 30,000. In my case, I want to put 10,000. So then you're going to go ahead and wait. Wait for it to be completely loaded. Once it's done, you're good to go. The entrance, you're going to walk through these scanners and you'll swipe your card on the right where a green circle will come up and then you're good to go. If you have insufficient funds on your card, a red X will blink and these two doors will pop out and it won't allow you through. If this sometimes embarrassing red X thing happens, don't worry, there are subway staff down below to help you. As you can see here, this woman was having trouble with her card and there was a staff member there to assist her. After going through the scanner and deciding what direction you need to go, you'll find maps like this down below, which will show the tracks on the right and the left. And this is great if you're not sure exactly where you need to go. It will have different stops on each side and where you currently are. There are also maps above the subway in English and Korean, which will show you different directions so you can find out if you're going the right way or not. You'll also hear an announcement like in the video, which is what will happen when our train is arriving. When the train arrives, you can jump in line with everyone else and jump on the subway. Before jumping on the subway, it's polite to follow the arrows below, to wait on the left side or the right side, and allow the people getting off the subway to walk through the center. Once on the subway, hopefully you can grab a seat. If not, there are plenty of straps for you to grab onto, but hopefully a seat will open up during your journey. However, do not sit in these seats. These are designated for elderly people, pregnant women, people with babies. If you do, you most likely will be yelled at. <laughs> Inside the subway, there are also maps above the doors, so you can check and double check on what stops you need to go to. There are also TV screens that will announce when you're approaching a stop. They will show up and announce it in English and Korean. Before or after getting on the subway, there are maps of your current location and exit locations. There's also a map of the different levels of the subway you are in. And there's also a city map, so if you want to figure out where you are or where you want to get to, these maps can come in handy. When you get off the subway and you want to transfer, Seoul has made it pretty easy to do so. You will see signs like this pointing you in the right direction. All you need to do is follow these transfer signs. You'll see more signs as you continue to go on the ceiling. They make it pretty easy and you won't have to go through another scanner or scan your card again. It'll take you right up to the next subway line, again waiting in line and then jumping on that new subway. The subways also have elevators that will take you up to each level and up to the surface. This is great if you have a lot of luggage or if you're not feeling well or if you're an elderly person, you can take one of these elevators to the top. Oh, Korea, they love their mirrors and you can find a ton of them in the subway system. I'm gonna check myself out before the subway. Peace. Lastly, you can find lockers where you can store your luggage, backpacks. There's a machine here that you can use to lock up all your stuff and it'll be there when you get back. Alright guys, so that was the Seoul Subway. I hope this was helpful for you guys and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Sometimes I get a little confused coming from Jeju Island and I don't come to Seoul that often so when I come here once in a while I get a little confused but I kind of figure it out pretty quickly. Thanks again for watching guys and remember you only live once so live to the max. Bye.